I'm fully aware that this is crooked. But good morning. Um, I've actually been up for only an hour, really. Actually, two hours. Going on two hours. Um, just felt like vlogging today, so welcome, 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 welcome. Getting this girl a little snack. Let's get you, um, I'm just, yeah, just feeling vloggish. Going to try and get a lot of things done today. She already had a bowl of cereal this morning. And some, yeah, and some crackers. She, second night in the morning, she sleeps through the night. And when I say sleep through the night at this time, I know, honey, I know. Let's get your knife ready. He's gonna cut it for you. Is that okay? When I say sleep through the night, I mean that she actually slept through the night. I got her in her crib by 10. And she woke me up at 7. So, is this okay for now? <gasps> Yummy. Do you want more stuff? gonna throw with those raspberries um and that's new for us sleeping through the night meant that i would get her down like she would only do five hour stretches every once in a while she would do a 10 hour stretch or an 11 hour stretch but that would be if she skipped her naps and she had a very full day yesterday was a normal day the day before was a very full day in the sense that we had her outside and um we actually took her out for like night night a night walk which we haven't done since she was like pre-toddler so we thought i thought it was a fluke i'm like oh she just slept through the night because we played with her a lot before she knocked out um I have no complaints. I mean, now that I weaned her off of um, breastfeeding, when she wakes up in the middle of the night and I bring her to bed with me, it's mostly just cuddles. I mean, granted, it's still difficult sleeping with a toddler. Um, but, yeah. So, I found this video on YouTube, on YouTube, on Instagram. Um, I sent it to my husband and I was like, babe, we should try this. So it was saying like if you're if you're having a hard time, um, it was like a testimonial. It was a woman saying that this was what she did. So her two year old still wasn't sleeping through the night. Like sleeping through the night can infer, and I've said this before, that you that the baby can sleep four or five hour stretches, wake up seven hour stretch, wake up. But I want her to sleep through. Like I, if she wakes up a little groggy, fine, but put yourself back to sleep. Um, so the woman, you know, tried all the stuff, same as me, um, sound machine works, but sometimes she still wakes up. So she actually suggested to turn the sound machine off, that it messes with her flight or fight response. Um, which is basically like, you know, when you, when you hear things in the middle of the night. Um, and she can sleep in noise. The reason why I put all, a lot of sound machines on in her room, so she has three, but I usually put two on. And because one of them will die in the middle of the night. And the other one I have it constantly plugged in because she kind of broke, so it won't stay on until it's plugged unless it's plugged in. So, and then because she broke it, she got a birthday gift. Because she broke it, she got a birthday gift. Um, that essentially is supposed to be like a hatch machine, but it's like a, like a knockoff version of it because the hatch machine is just too expensive, and she's not a baby anymore. But she plays with it. She plays with the hatch machine. She loves it. Anyway, I'm going off on a, on a huge slow. What I'm trying to say is, is that I put that on, like on fan white noise, um, very, very low. Um, and then I ended up turning the sound machine off by her ear. And then I put the sound machine on and I left it in her closet. It's just the way the room works. Um, because her, her bedroom is actually right on this wall, whereas where I do the dishes. Um, and sometimes after I put her down, I want to watch some TV. Um, or if it's the weekend, that's when me and Chris get, get family time, get alone time. And we usually watch movies that we're not allowed to watch with the baby in the house. 
our baby up. So, and we like to watch it, you know, at a decent volume. So, there, anyway, I don't to say. Gobble, 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 gobble. I lowered the sound machine and we just kind of worked it out. Um, and so it dies in the middle of the night, so she actually just falls asleep. So, silence or white noise or just noises. And she slept through. Second day in a row that she slept through. Um, when this lady did it, she was like six nights in a row that she slept through. She has never slept through straight like that six nights in a row. So we'll see if that actually happens. Granted, she did sleep through the night for a whole week when we first moved in. But that was like the first transition of her sleeping through the night at all because she would never sleep through the night. And that was because we co-slept. We shared one bedroom. So when we finally got her in her bedroom, she wasn't constantly being interrupted by, in her sleep by us walking in and out of the bedroom. So... Um, that was like a year ago um anyway i have tons of little things to do today um some meal prepping i did some meal prepping yesterday um just basic cleaning i actually did a little to do i'm very happy with my little to-do list i'm gonna grab it a little to-do list it's not as like pretty and colorful and awesome as i usually do it but it's uh to do's this is my get shit done list because you know I gotta get some stuff done um there's already some things on here that I did yesterday that I can cross off there's multiple things that actually can get crossed off multiple times because it's kind of a daily thing like I put read and scrapbook and just like edit stuff um, and then like clean the floors like that's every daily thing so this is like some things is like a one and done and then other things is just like a weekly but this brings me joy <laughs> doing it like this um, I'm actually currently scrapbooking right now. I'm gonna try and scrapbook just one page. Uh, and then just some things that it's, it's November, it's the second week of November. I am working on like a new intro. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tired of my old intro. So, um, I think from now on I'm just gonna use this new intro that I used for this. And I'm just, I'm planning, I'm planning out some content for next year some intros some finally hopefully changing my profile picture just updating lots of things and i feel like that's it that's all i have to say for right now i'm going to drink my coffee i'm going to scrapbook i'm going to continue off my morning it's still only eight o'clock um i've been up since seven i slept through the night beautifully um i have to crisp I have to Chris wake up. I have to wake Chris up at 10, possibly 10.30. Um, he's doing a lot of working. He's been working really hard for us. So I've been full-fledged, full-time homemaker. Like just constantly in the kitchen, making sure the house is the way it should be. You know, kind of covering all the bases, making sure his power banks are charged. So there's, there's, there's a lot. I guess that uh, I haven't caught you guys up on because I haven't vlogged in a very long time but it's because I've also just been very much in the present lots of cuddles lots of playtime with her um, been trying to teach her things trying to get her to talk a little more um, it's 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 the cooking really I've been doing a lot of cooking a lot of cooking and I don't film it because it's kind of just a wreck this is kind of just do a lot of meal prep, chuck everything in the sink, and then leave it there for hours because then she needs tending to. And then after she's finally had some, a good like, I filled her love tank, then I can plop her in front of the TV um, because that's not a bad thing. It's not a dirty word. Um, and then I tackle the kitchen, which sometimes you would think that spending a lot of time with your kids would scratch the itch. No, it kind of spoils her. In like a good way, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean like, she's like, oh, I want more mommy. And she comes to me and she give me hugs. And I'm like, oh. And there go the crayons. That's my cue. <laughs> she's eating we have turned the tv to her this is her eating show bumble nums 
picked up a little bit of a mess. I got a little crazy. I was actually doing a bunch here, and then I went over there, and then I went up there, and I forgot to even press record because she took my my stand. So, but now I'm in the kitchen. I just washed all of these fruits. It's like we're in the meal prep stage. It's about to be 10 o'clock in two minutes, which means the second wind of the day is gonna hit. So I have to prep dinner, which is meatballs. So I'm going to season it, put it in the fridge. I also have to um, make them breakfast or yeah, it's breakfast, but it's gonna be like brunch. Uh, prep his coffee. His lunch is already, no, actually I have to prep his lunch too. And then I have to get him up. So I still haven't technically like gotten myself ready for the day. That's usually how most mornings, days are. I usually get myself ready when he wakes up to go back to work. Um, Cause then I have someone to watch her. Usually it doesn't matter if anyone watches her but lately she's just been very daring can't look away for a single second so let's see all right charged his power banks all of his power banks are charged so we're just gonna hit the second wind and then um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and just start taking out everything from the closets that's christmas decor so that I can see how much free spice I actually have to start reorganizing for this upcoming season that we're about to hit, that we're currently in. I feel like I'm a little behind. Um, but we're just gonna make it work. Make it work. Make it work. <laughs> Andre, what happened to Andre? Yeah, if you don't know me, I feel bad for you. Been several hours later you're kind of there we go i did a bunch of stuff i um spent like an hour and a half in the kitchen prepping getting him ready for work getting myself ready for the day uh also took her out for a walk and then she fell asleep so she's napping right now in her room um and i tidied up the bar car area i keep thinking i'm hearing her but we got a package. So for her birthday, a lot of people gave us money. So with that, I went ahead and I got her. I'm not a, I don't like to get seasonal things in terms of like clothing attire because then you can't really wear it that often. Why aren't you, uh, I think I, oh, here we go. So I'm doing a little quick haul. I got her some Christmas PJs and some other things. Christmas trees. Okay. Little ballerinas. Let's see what else we got. It's mostly PJs. More PJs. More PJs. Another PJ set. Another PJ set. My favorite PJ set. She was out of PJs. Honestly, I should have gotten her clothes. But she's so good on the clothing department. I'm always getting like this wine voucher. Parents don't really need a drink. I hope you can hear me. I'm being intentionally low and I know there's a lot of... Oh, I also showered. Forgot to mention that. And I washed my hair so it's gonna 
messy bun and I changed. I got her a Christmas gift. It's um a breakfast set. So I already have some. Oh, and it comes. Okay, this is the tray. She's gonna break this. She's for sure gonna break this. Is this a two piece? Yes. It's like the Nutcracker and the Fairy Princesses and the Ballerina and the Mouse King. So it looks Christmassy. She has some really great like regular season PJs, like cool thin PJs. Um, because they there was like doorbuster sales and deals that already came in. For the summer, but this is these are PJs. I'm I'm straight up gonna use this as a sweater set. Look at this. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. You know when I'm ordering these things, I don't actually know what it feels like. This is luxurious. I want this. God, I want this. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. These, it's like, it's like velvet. Damn. This girl's styling. Oh, I'm so jealous. Okay, now I have to hide this. This says ages three and up. I'm gonna look like a complete lie. My daughter could do this. She already does it. Oh, my head cut off. Okay, so that's the haul. I am going to hide this. I'll leave these out for her. This is garbage. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some reading. She should be waking up from her nap soon, which is good. I'm actually hungry. And I don't know what else to say. So. I think I should cut all these tags, actually. All right. Good morning. It's the next day. Um, there's Bluey in the background, but it's it's low enough. It shouldn't be bothersome. Um. Yeah, I stopped vlogging yesterday. Um, it was just a lot. Like at the, when I hit the end of the day, I had to do dinner, and then we had a little incident with her. Um, and she took like almost a four hour nap. So I had to go wake her up and she, it left her really cranky because she could have slept longer, but that ruined my night. So, um, but I, I crossed off a lot of my to-do list stuff. Um, I brought down the Christmas decorations. Um, she's been having a blast with them. Uh, she thinks that they're like toys cause it looks very festive and nice, so. I think I'm gonna just mock up, do some things today. I still have more on my list to cross off, but uh, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. Chris is um, pulling a double today, so I'm gonna be by myself, so I might go see my mom. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I, uh, I didn't even close out yesterday's vlog because I was just like, we're fine, you know? Zoomies. Yeah, I had to bring her into bed last night. Um, she woke me up at four in the morning, and apparently she needed cuddles, which I don't mind. But I wish she would have woke me up at like five, because then I would have just kept her up. But I was still so exhausted because I had such a hard time falling asleep. I don't know, but I got her to bed late last night as well. So everything just after that late nap, it kind of trickled and it just became bad. And it wasn't like that she took a nap late. She just napped longer than usual. And I went into the room and I opened the door and she didn't budge like for nap time and I was trying to wake her up. But I kind of don't, I feel like I should have let her sleep. I mean, regardless, at least she wouldn't have been cranky last night, like before bed. I don't know, should have cut a water. I am going to cut the tags off of her um, her haul that we got yesterday and put everything in the wash. I need to actually wash her little high chair thing. And I'm gonna plan out some content. Maybe I'll just record some videos, um, maybe do some behind the scenes. Um, 
I washed my hair today, but I did like a co-wash. It wasn't like a real wash, so I still have like, my scalp is still a little dirty and dry. But I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oil up my scalp, condition my hair, and then make it a point to wash my hair tomorrow and not let it sit, because that was the problem. I had a leave-in conditioner and I let it sit for like two days. So I think that's what kind of created this buildup. I'm gonna go back to my morning, having my cafecito, listening to my besties videos, and I'm also gonna do some reading. And I gotta, you know, also baby stuff. Breakfast, change her, get her ready for the day. But she woke up late, it's 8.30 right now because she, she woke up in the middle of the night. She wasn't feeling it. There's always gonna be something in the background. Let's lower it a little bit. Hi, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a couple days um, since I started this vlog. Uh, I kinda just dropped it. Um, life happens. Um, emotional roller coasters happen. <laughs> Family stuff happens. Uh, so I'm just coming on here to just officially, I guess, close this vlog out. I did some Christmas decorating yesterday in the midst of just everything that kind of just happened the last few days. So um, I have a headache. It was two days in a row that she had a really rough night and it hasn't been like that in a while. So it kind of, it hit me hard. Uh, so I'm thinking it's like just to your sleep regression or something, I don't know. Um, but she finally slept through the night last night and like slept through. Um, so I got some sleep, but um, I still have a headache because I was really restless. I couldn't turn my mind off. So um, I actually didn't end up falling asleep until one in the morning, but it's fine. So yeah, I did some decorating. I'm doing some organizing in her closet, in our closet, coat closet, linen closet. I'll pan away to some shots of just me making a huge mess in the house first before it gets put together. And I'm just starting to decorate the house a little bit, little by little, because with a toddler, that's how you kind of have to maneuver it. Unless I take a full like two, three hours while she's napping and just transform the whole house. But I wanna be chillin', even though decorating is fun. Um, and it would be normally something that we would do as a family, but I think what we'll do is that this year we'll just decorate the tree together, um, which we do every year, but I'm saying like, because Chris is just working so, so much, if I wait for him to have time to like decorate the house with me, because we it's a moment. We love, we love Christmas. Christmas is our time of the year, as I'm sure it is for everybody. Um, so the baby's up. She's actually going ham on all the Christmas decorations. There's trails of lots of stuff everywhere in the house. I'm trying not to freak out, but um, I'm just gonna start decorating little by little. Chris is taking a power nap before he has to go back to work. And the weather's like really crappy. So the lighting's gonna be off. I don't know if I'm gonna take her for a walk. But yeah, the vlog started out very optimal vlog situations and then um, kind of just went downhill in terms of my desire to vlog, my emotions, my stamina, um, and I just I just put the camera down for like two days. But we're back, um, feeling a little bit more leveled out. Yeah, so, and I'm pretty sure this vlog will be long enough anyway, no big deal. I'm hoping to get back into the swing of creating content and all the things and all of that stuff. Um, but I've been doing lots of posts on IG, lots of reels, lots of shorts. Um, so if you want to see more of that, you can subscribe, go to my channel, check it out. Um, or don't. I'm still very tired. I did sleep enough, but I'm just I'm a little out of it, so. Comes creeping my way. So I'm just gonna let you guys go. Let's close the vlog out here. Um, let's go back. It's been nice knowing you. Hi. I love 
you too.